Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Last time I posted a video about testing some of my sabotaged 45 ACP loads, someone in the comments informed me that there's actually a company called MMP Sabots, uh, which I guess stands for Muzzle Load Magnum Products out of Harrison, Arkansas. Uh, anyway, they make a variety of injection molded nylon sabots. Uh, including one that goes from 45 to 38 caliber, just like the homemade sabots that I was using. Uh, and so I decided to pick up a few of these and try them out, just see how they compare to my homemade sabots. Uh, now, I should probably mention that the company, you know, MMP Sabots, sells these strictly as a muzzle loading product. You know, they don't market them as something to use in 45 ACP or any other cartridge. Uh, but I was able to load up some 45 ACP shells using them, just like I'd use my own sabots, same powder charge and everything. So I'm interested to see how they compare. And to get a direct comparison, I think what I want to do is fire 10 rounds of uh, my homemade Sabbat rounds into a target, uh, and then fire 10 rounds of these with the MMP Sabbats, and that way we should get a direct comparison of accuracy, uh, as well as to some extent reliability. We'll see if they feed and function correctly. Okay, that was either 10 or 11 rounds. I thought I counted 10, and then I still had one left in the uh, chamber, and I was pretty sure I loaded 10 in the magazine, so either I miscounted shots or I miscounted rounds when I was loading the magazine, but either way, let's go take a look at the target. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And possibly 11, that looks like it could be a triple hole, although it's at least a double. So once again, not sure if I fired 10 or 11 shots there. But either way, uh, if I throw out this one outlier, I've got about a 6 inch group here. Uh, that's not necessarily as good as I was hoping. I feel like I've shot better uh, than that with these loads before. But it still gives us a point of reference and as I would have expected, because I've spent a fair amount of time fine-tuning these Sabbath loads, uh, zero malfunctions. You know, 10 shots with complete reliability. Could have swore I pressed the record button, but the camera did not record anything. So I just fired the 10 rounds of MMP Sabbath ammo. Uh, every single one of them, I think, or very nearly every one of them, uh, didn't feed quite all the way into the chamber. You know, the, the action would almost close and then I'd have to beat it with the back of my hand to get it to go fully into battery. And then once I did that, I was able to fire all 10 rounds. Uh, now looking at the cartridge cases, the primers are a little bit cratered. So, uh, you know, these sabots may be a little larger or, or may have a little more material in them than mine. And if that's taking up extra space in the cartridge, it could be resulting in excessively high pressures, as well as leaving more of the sabots sticking out the front, which is probably why they're not readily going all the way into battery. Okay, yep, there you see it didn't go quite all the way into battery. Same thing. Same thing. Okay, that one's not.
I was going to say that one cycled, but actually that was the last round and it just failed to lock open. Well, last one except for this one that I ejected because it wouldn't feed the first time. Okay, now that one feeds. Huh, and once again it failed to lock open. That's surprising, because if anything, I was expecting these to be a little on the hot side. Anyway, that's pretty much exactly what they did before, so at least they're consistent. So, right off, I'm thinking that these sabots are probably not a good choice for 45 ACP loads. Uh, probably work okay for, like, a Colt 45 revolver load, uh, but just a little bit too long to really work well with the, the 45 ACP cartridge design. Anyway, let's go take a look at the target. Okay, as I walk out to the target, I am seeing a lot of blue plastic sabot petals all over the ground, so it looks like the petals are breaking off the sabot shortly after it leaves the barrel. Uh, I would presume that that is what they're supposed to do. And as we get closer to the target, I'm seeing some of the sabot bases. Uh, of course, the petals are broken off and the base is really flared out. Uh, which is interesting, but uh, once again, maybe that's what they're supposed to do. Okay, so I fired 10 shots, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 new holes in the target. Uh, it looks like the group in general moved up a little bit, so I'm guessing that shots 9 and 10 went right over the target board somewhere in here. And I, the group may have opened up just a little bit, but overall, I'd say the group size is pretty comparable to what I got with my printed sabots. Okay, well, I wanted to try out these injection molded sabots just to see if they would offer better performance than my 3D printed sabots and see if there's anything I could learn from their design if they did. But they kind of didn't. Uh, as we saw today, they certainly didn't offer noticeably better accuracy than my 3D printed sabot rounds. Uh, and they were really a little bit too long to function well in the 45 ACP cartridge. Now, that might not be a problem if you were loading them in something like a 45 Long Colt or a, a 4570 case where you've got a little more case length to work with, and I'm sure they probably work fine for muzzleloader applications, which is all they're really designed or marketed for. Uh, nevertheless, uh, they didn't work all that well for 45 ACP, and on top of that, they cost about 20 cents a piece, uh, whereas I can print my own for about 2 cents a piece worth of material. And it looks like the wind's coming up, but I guess that's okay, because I think I'm about done filming for the day anyway. So, till next time, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.